What's going on guys, Orzio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new showdown for being your card to review and it is a card that is looking ridiculous. He has got 88 pace with 90 dribbling, 84 shooting, 92 defending, 90 physicals with 89 passing. He's also 6 foot 2 which means that reach in a midfield is going to be very nice to work with. He's got medium high work rates with 4 star skill moves and he also has got a 4 star weak foot as well. The chem style, shadow. I feel like the shadow is going to be the way to go because giving him 99 acceleration with 97 sprint speed is going to be a joke. He is just going to be so fast in the midfield. I'm expecting his transition speed to be unreal. I'm expecting his, uh, his pace to get out to players to be disgusting as well. So yeah, I definitely feel like the shadow chem style is going to be the way to go. The shooting stats on this card for a CDM look solid. He's got 88 attacking positioning, 82 finishing, uh, 90 shot power, 84 long shots, 75 volleys with 92 penalties. Has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he does not. The passing ability for a midfielder looks amazing. His dribbling ability, I mean, for a six foot two player, they definitely look up there. He's got 92 agility with 92 balance, 90 reactions, 90 ball control, 89 dribbling with 92 composure. I'm definitely expecting him to feel really good on the ball. His defending stats are a joke. He's got 99 interceptions with 90 heading accuracy, 96 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling with 99 slide tackling. I'm expecting him to be a defensive beast and his physicals look unreal as well. He's got 86 jumping with 91 stamina, 90 strength and 92 aggression. I'm definitely expecting him to push players completely off the ball. Now the links, Brazilian, Liverpool. The links are insane. You can link him up with a player like Rodrigo. You can link him up with a player like Trent. You got a link to Virgil van Dijk. You got a link to Curtis Jones showdown card, Henderson, a uh, foot captain card, I believe it is. You got Mane, you got Salah. The, the links are insane. Let's just put it that way. Positions, two positions, the CDM position and the center position. Let's get into the games and let's see how good showdown Fabinho is going to be. For the middle, he's going to try to turn. Surely, there you go. Fabinho, look at the transition speed. I'm trying to control the transition speed, but he was feeling a little bit too fast for my liking, I must admit. I didn't expect his transition speed to be that quick at going left and right, so I lost control for a second. Look at the pace, though. Look at that. Keep it going. We'll roll that. Use the strength. Really good strength. Nice pass. He might be off. He is offside. It was a good pass, though. Fabinho, good movement going forward. Decent touch as well. Son, keep it going because I'm going to go for one of these passes, and that is a perfect pass. Son, take the touch. There you go. Oh, come on. He, Son just didn't want to take the touch, apparently. But still, it was a great pass from Fabinho. I'm just going to rush out towards him. Is he going to try to go through the gap? He does. Look at Fabinho, though. Look at that pace. We caught up to him. Keep it going. Oh, what a slight tackle from Trent. But yeah, we caught up to him. And then we read that cut back. We went straight into the tackle. And it was a possession-based tackle as well. I had to focus for a second because I thought I was going to concede. I'm just going to go for a switch. I play here in the middle. Fabinho, take that touch. Nice touch. Keep it going. Use your pace to get in front of Ronaldo. Good use of strength as well. He wasn't really making a run, but I still went for it. And it's not a bad pass. We do eventually come out with a ball. See Fabinho making a bit of movement going forward. Go for a few turns. See how his left stick dribbling is going to fill. He did read me, to be fair, and he's tried to take me out. We've green time the finesse shot, and it's a terrible, terrible long shot. He didn't feel bad on the ball there. It's just my opponent read the correct way but he got unlucky not to come out with the ball get onto that for being a go on use your strength okay you didn't need to use your strength you just got in front of kevin de bruyne and just put in a good tackle turn there chamberlain nice go for a quick dummy with fabinho he did he just glitch i'm pretty sure he just glitched out but look how good of a pass that is i'm telling you guys his passing ability is such a good thing to have in the midfield so it, like he can play those passes so well and it just allows me to go for these quick counter attacks let's go for a cutback here give it back to Cancelo. give it back to fabinho referee is that gonna be a red card it looks like it is i was in an angle to go for finesse shot as well so i'm kind of annoyed Mo the movement from fabinho going forward you can definitely tell he's like super aggressive and it's understandable with his medium high work rates right it's just he does still give you that passing option Looking for a pass in the middle, but there's not really any pass. But Fabinho is here. Green timed. Power shot. A cross goal. We tried it with the four-star weak foot. I just wanted to see how good it was uh, It was going to be. And it wasn't a bad shot. It challenged the keeper, but I doubt that's ever going to go in. 
He might go for a turn into the middle. He doesn't. He's looking for that pass back to Butcher though. And you look at the animation for Bingo got himself in. And then he plays an amazing, an amazing pass. <laughs> what was that? Through all that because he's throwing a few players forward now. He's trying to, trying to get a goal early it looks like. I'm going to play that ball though. What a pass. Fred. Decent touch. Flick over. Look at Fred Dino. Look at him. No. AI block. I think he was an AI block. He might have been controlling him. Son, you got plenty of space to run into. I'm going to pass it to Fabinho first, then pass it to Son. And now this is where we see the movement. Is he going to be committing forward? Now, you see what I mean about him? Like, he doesn't like to fully... Ah, yellow time. He doesn't like to fully go forward. He's not a player that's going to run inside your opponent's box. He's a player that's just going to be sitting on the edge, giving you that passing option. And once the, once the ball arrives to him, you could go for a shot. But yeah, the shots I've took, they haven't been great. He's going to play that extra pass. He's surely going to try to go for a turn here. Fabinho, I was about to say, we didn't get it the first time because it doesn't seem like he locked onto it, but he definitely locked onto the second one. And there's a good pass down the line to Son. Hold on a second. Great acceleration from Son to get around Kunde. We'll roll the keeper. No, I thought it was going to be easy, but Donnarumma really, really stretches out there. That's a bad touch. I could have probably jumped onto it, but clearly it does not matter. Fabinho with that possession-based interception. I'm going to try to accelerate around Hullet. Look at the strength. Keep it going. Hold him off. Hold him off. There you go. Now accelerate past him. Beautiful. Keep it going. Keep it going. Look at Hullet struggling to get in front of him. We couldn't get it there, unfortunately, and I'm going to guess, yeah, he passes it back to Hullet. It was just a pass that let us down. I'm just going to continue running here. I don't think he's going to expect it. Well, he did expect it, but clearly... It did not matter. I like the fact that we can do that with Fabinho, right? We don't have to be sitting... We don't have to be, like, sitting back with him. We don't have to go for just a few turns and then instantly pass. You can actually dribble with him. You can run forward with him as well. I'm just going to push towards here. There you go. That's a nice interception. Good turn as well. Referee short... Referee! How is that not going to be a foul? Like, clearly... Clearly, Fabinho's been clipped there. That's a good pass. I'm going to second man press this. See if Fabinho just pushes out to him, and he does. Just keep it calm, accelerate into the space. Looking for a pass here. I'm just going to play it simple to Son. He's going to try to go through the gap. He might try to go for it. Surely he goes for a cutback. There you go, Fabinho. Decent interception. It nearly went through his legs, but luckily, he got a little touch to it. But look at the strength. The strength on his card is incredible. He holds off so many players. Is Fabinho going to be inside the box? He is not inside the box. Okay, let me go ahead and maybe switch this to Ronaldo. There you go. He's inside the box now. He's pushed out the keeper. So, yeah, this is going to be a tough one. But I'm going to go back stick here. He's against Hullet. Is he going to really win this over Hullet? I doubt it. Go on, Fabinho. Give it a go, though. He has won it over Hullet. But Hullet didn't really challenge, right? It looked like Hullet was trying to take like a, a chest touch. It was decent, though. I should have probably done a little bit better to time it and actually get it on target, though. Go on, Rodrigo. Keep it going. I'm going to go for it. That's a good pass. Good touch as well. Keep it going. Get ahead of him. Ball roll. Good shielding. Nice turn. No. I don't want to talk about it. I thought he was going to bring out the keeper, so that's why Elastic goes to the side, but he didn't even bring him out. He's going to try to go for maybe a pass up. He doesn't. He just continues running down. And Fabinho's going to put him onto the ground. And apparently, it's going to be a foul. I thought he got the ball. He's going to play that across. I knew it. I'm just going to continue running with Fabinho here. Just trust in him. That's such a bad touch from Cruyff. And Fabinho does come out with a ball. For a second, I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be a foul. He's going to play that to Cruyff. He is. I'm going to go ahead and second man press this. So if he does go for that cutback, Fabinho is right there. Go on. Get that ball. There you go. Keep it calm. Son, make that run down the line. Let's go for that ground pass. And I should have done better to create the angle. What I should have done there is just took a touch to the left and I would have had it. Ronaldo, make a run down. Come on. I've sent for being on a run. We'll roll scoop into his feet. Nice touch. Green timed as well. And Courtois ends up saving it. I'm trying my hardest to get a goal with him. It's just keepers are pulling out some really nice saves. Uh, I think... Is that Anthony on him? I'm not 100%. I think it might be. Let's see if we can score a goal with him. Come on. Against Cantona? No, he ends up missing it. And Cantona ends up coming out of it as well. His jumping ability isn't anything amazing. So I'm definitely expecting him not to be like outstanding up in the air. Accelerate. Keep it going. Fabinho, I think he might be slightly offside. Is he? He's not offside. We, we can't get a goal with him. We cannot get a goal with him. He can't miss an opportunity like that. 
We green time and everything. Hold on, though. Hold on. Green timed. And Courtois saves it. We just can't get a goal. We just can't. So it is time to give my final thoughts on the card. We ended up playing five games of Fabinho. And we couldn't get a goal in those five games. I tried so hard. Finesse shots. Green timed them. Didn't go in. Power shots outside the box. Inside the box. Green timed them. Didn't go in. Headers. Didn't go in. Nothing. Just nothing was going in. And I am definitely disappointed in his shooting ability. This is the thing, right? His shooting ability isn't terrible. It's not like he cannot take a shot. No, he can take a shot. It's just... It isn't anything amazing, and it definitely is inconsistent. So yeah, the shooting ability, I was not happy with it. If you're on the angle, 100% give it a go, because you never know, it might fly in, but in most cases, the keeper is going to pull out a safe. The pace on this card, loved it. Transition speed, insane. Getting out the players was ridic ridiculously quick as well. So yeah, the pace, loved it. Passing ability, insane. Left foot, right foot, it didn't matter. The pass was getting placed to the person I aimed it to. The dribbling ability on this card, I like how... You don't have to keep it simple with him. You can go for a few twists and turns. Like his dribbling ability, especially for a six foot two player, is definitely solid. The defending ability, interceptions, possession based every time. That reach, by the way, crazy good. Defensive awareness with a high defensive work rate as well was beautiful. The standing tackling, I think I saw like two, two tackles that bounce back, maybe three the tackles that bounce back to my opponent. All the other tackles, possession based this is the thing right i'm not expecting him to go in and get a ball every time you guys know how it is in fever 22 sometimes the ball just wants to go to, to go to your opponent so yeah i wasn't expecting every tackle to be possession based but as i said majority of the tackles they were the slide tackling as well very solid so yeah the defending ability insane the physicals oh that strength oh my god that strength was beautiful the aggression as well he goes into tackles very very aggressively but yeah the strength he was holding off players for fun the jumping ability that definitely could have been a little bit better he was losing headers to players that i didn't think he was going to lose a header to let's just put it that way now the price four hundred and sixty thousand coins 460k for this card isn't terrible it's it's expensive right but i do not believe he is overpriced the reason i say that is because the links this card has are outrageous he's brazilian he gets a link with neymar marcelo marquinhos Vinny. like those links are just stupid and he plays for liverpool salah mane trent virgil van dyke henderson for birthday for mina you got so many good liverpool players in this game as well see i don't believe 460k is overpriced I do believe it is worth it. I wouldn't say he's the best CDM in the Prem because your boy Team of the Year N'Golo Kante definitely wins it. But I would say he is second. I think this card is better than Team of the Season Declan Rice. Uh, who else? We got Foot Captain Foot Captain Henderson as well. I definitely would say Fabinho is the second best CDM in the Premier League in this game. Now, I know a lot of people want him want me sorry to compare him to uh, Deli Ali. In a sentiment position, Deli Ali 100% wins. In a CDM position, though, Fabinho, for me, wins it. His defending ability and transition speed, for me, is better than uh, than that Deli Alley card. Now, where does he go in the midfielder's tier list? As a CDM, S tier. As a center mid, because of that shooting ability, A+. plus. But this is the thing. It's a showdown, okay? So he can get a further plus two upgrade if Liverpool win in the Champions League final. If this card gets a further plus two upgrade, yeah. Especially upgrading that shooting, oh my... He is going to be, he is going to be on another level. But am I hoping he gets the upgrade? No, no, no. I want this card to get the upgrade. I want Rodrigo because this Rodrigo card would be stupid and uh, stupid. And obviously me being a Manchester United fan, I want Real Madrid to win. It's simple as that. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.